Hi awesome people and welcome to my channel. It's been a minute. It's been a while since I uploaded on my channel. All hasn't been well but we are back. Yeah, we are fully back. I hope this is going to be consistent. Yeah, and to my subscribers, thank you very much for always supporting me. For the returning subscribers, welcome back. And in case you've been watching this channel and you've not subscribed, please uh, do make effort and subscribe. I will really appreciate. So basically I'm just starting by making a simple breakfast. So I have cornflakes and then I have the choco shells. Um, the reason why I have the twist one is sugarless and the other one of course has sugar. So mixing them makes it better. So that's why I always mix them. So I'm just preparing a very simple breakfast uh, of um, choco shells uh, and of course cornflakes. So this is around 12 um around 12 noon yeah so i decided to make myself a smoothie so i have my yogurt you can use any type of yogurt flavored or just plain and then i i've, I've got my mason jar i got it from house of leather and then so the first thing i'm doing i'm just putting a little bit of the yogurt into the jar So I basically add a little bit of water so that it's easy to blend. It's always a problem when you just blend directly, especially when it's something dry. Yeah, so just add a little bit of water. It doesn't have to be water, anything liquid and edible, you can use that. So for blending, I have uh, uh, bananas mixed with um, pineapple so that's what I have and that's what I'm going to use and then I'm going to add uh, so I'm going to blend uh, separate so I'm going to blend the bananas and the pineapple and then I'll do the um, watermelon separate mm -hmm. So after blending the pineapples and the bananas, I went ahead and added it into the yogurt. So I didn't like do any magic, so just add into the jar. 
which already has the yogurt so yeah that's basically what i did the watermelon into small pieces and then uh, when I'm done I'm just going to add it into the blender I don't need to wash its food in there so I'll just put it direct unless it's something for visitors and you want to have like don't want to mix the smoothies so you can uh, wash the blender but I was going to mix it either way so i just added the watermelon direct uh, without washing and then just go ahead and blend then went ahead and added the blended uh, watermelon I expected to see it on top but it didn't work the way I planned but either way it still came out nice so I've just added the watermelon uh, the watermelon juice We are done with the smoothie so you can have it the way it is or can um, you can put it in the fridge so that it can be a bit cold and have it which is exactly what I did so I did put it in the fridge before taking it so after that um, I actually had gotten this uh, soap pump and I wanted to probably start using it so I'm just going to set it up like I'm going to put the liquid soap so it's basically mainly used for liquid soap so as uh, you can see I had my liquid soap so one of the bottles I had to put a little bit of the soap and then mix with water so that it, it's better that way rather than just using uh, the undiluted one so I already had this um, already diluted liquid soap so the only thing i needed to do is just pour it into this up um, soap pump i basically wanted to get myself one of these so i eventually did get that and then uh, since um 
I think I over diluted the salt so I added a little bit of more I added a little bit of more um, soap so that when I'm washing at least it doesn't feel like it's not enough just mixing I used a spoon you can use anything yeah and then I just covered it have to cover it in a way I think the way I'd put it it wasn't like tight enough so I had to remove and then put it back and then it was now okay so I also got this a uh, soap holder so this is over the wall you can actually stick it on the wall and i wanted to set this up so basically i'm just going to put its two layers so i'm just going to uh, have the two layers and then uh, at the back you're going to put the sticker i don't know what they call it they have a name but we're going to put it and then we'll have to stick it on the wall so um, i got this from kamkunji i don't know if i remember the price but yeah I got it from Kamkunji. If I remember the shop, I'll definitely um, put it on the description box so that you guys can also go probably get a pair. But yeah, so I got this uh, from Kamkunji and we are going to set it up. So I had to read the manual because um, it wasn't very clear to me how I was going to set it up. But I basically was able to just see the picture and figure out how to set it up. So um, at this point, I've already put the two layers. So the only thing uh, remaining is putting the sticker at the back and that is uh, the sticker. It's not called sticker. There's a name they call it. I've just forgotten the name, but yeah. it at the back and then we are going to remove the there's a paper that covers the sticking part so we're going to remove that so that we can stick it on the on the wall I'm in my bathroom and we are going to set this up so I was actually trying to figure out how or where to place it so that's why I was just checking where I'll stick it <laughs> yeah so uh, eventually of course I ended up uh, finding the right place and just pressed it onto the wall and we were all done then um so for the soaps i have the yellow soap you're seeing is um for my face and then the 
green one is geisha I think it's just for the normal washing and then these additional soaps that um, you are seeing here the one I was trying to remove the pepper is uh, for my hair so it's a black soap so it's for my hair so the two the one in the white one and the uh, the one i was trying to remove the paper they are for my hair so at least i i was placing them just uh, at the uh, toilet wherever but now at least i have somewhere where to place them so either way probably i'll need to add an additional soap holder so that at least I can have each on its own or one up one down instead of putting two two the way I've put that but that is something that we'll probably do later but yeah and that is it for this video thank you guys for watching uh, do have a lovely one